Thinking about replacing your cabinets? Well, you may not want to do that just yet because today I'm going to be showing you how to easily do a full overlay cabinet reface, which is a lot cheaper than replacing your cabinets, can save you a ton of time and money, and will also give it a more clean and modern look with amazing results. Hi, my name is Dan with Up North Joinery, and if you enjoy watching woodworking, home improvement, or other DIY videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button to catch all of my latest tips and tricks. So today we're taking this outdated 1990s bathroom vanity and giving it a well-deserved makeover. Now this is a massive way to give your cabinets a fresh new look without having to buy new cabinets as we all know how time consuming and expensive that can be. It essentially just involves replacing the doors, hinges, and any drawer traces. As you can see, I've already removed the doors and painted the vanity and now the last step is to install the doors and the false drawer. But since we're converting this to a full overlay style, we're not going to be able to use the original cabinet doors anymore. So what is overlay? Overlay is the amount that your doors or drawer traces are overlapping the cabinet frame. So essentially, if you want less of the face frame to show, then you have to increase the overlay of the doors. So the goal here is to minimize the amount of the cabinet frame that's showing so that all that you mostly see is the doors and drawers. In this video, we're going to be covering how to properly measure and figure out what size doors you'll need to accomplish this and also the hinge size that you'll need to get the overlay that you want. We'll also go over how to install the concealed hinges, how to easily hang the doors on the vanity, and how to install the door hardware using a specific jig to make your life easier. So the first thing that we want to figure out is how much overlay are we looking to get? And if we're going for the full overlay style, then we want the doors to cover most if not all of this face frame here. So naturally, the first step is to figure out what size cabinet doors need to be. And we're going to be able to easily accomplish this by measuring our openings and our face frame. And all that you need for this is just a tape measure, a piece of paper, and a pencil. First, measure the width and height of each opening. And write those measurements down in the openings that you drew on the sheet of paper. For this vanity, the width of the door opening is 26 inches, and the height is 16 and 3 eighths of an inch. The false drawer opening measures out at 26 inches wide by 4 and 7 eighths inches high. Now it's time to determine the amount of overlay that you're going for. Here we're going for a full overlay look so basically I want my doors and false drawer to cover as much of the face frame as possible. Now this face frame measures 2 inches which means that I would need a two inch overlay hinge in order for the doors to completely cover the face frame. However, I'm not able to find any hinges that are more than an inch and a half, which means that my door is going to cover about an inch and a half of the face frame and there's going to be about a half inch of the face frame that's exposed around the sides here, which I think is going to be good enough. Now that we've determined our overlay of one and a half inches, let's write them down in our drawing here. Now the last measurement that we're going to want to figure out is the overlay of the divider rail here. Start by measuring the width of the rail which should be the same width as the rest of the face frame. And we're going to want a quarter inch gap between this false drawer that goes up here and the cabinet doors. So basically we'll take the width of the rail minus a quarter of an inch then divide it by two and that's going to get the overlay of the top of the cabinet doors and the bottom of the false drawer. In this case, we'll take two inches minus a quarter of an inch, which equals one and three quarters of an inch, and then divide that by two, which equals seven eighths of an inch. Now we're going to write those measurements down in our drawing. And now for this project, we have all the measurements we need to determine the size of our cabinet doors and our false drawer. Let's start with the cabinet doors. So we're going to take the width of the opening, divide that by two, and then add our overlay. So for this project, we're going to take 26 inches divided by 2, which equals 13 inches, which is half of the width of our opening. And then we're going to add 1.5 inches on each side for the overlay. This means that each door will be 14.5 inches wide, which again would be 13 inches plus that 1.5 inch overlay. Next, let's determine the height of the doors. So, same concept here, we're going to take the height of our opening plus the bottom overlay plus the top overlay. In this case, we'll take 16 and 3 eighths of an inch plus the one and a half inch overlay on the bottom 
and the 7 8 of an inch overlay on the top, which equals 18 and 3 quarters of an inch for the door height. So now we've determined that the cabinet doors need to be 14 and a half inches wide by 18 and 3 quarter inches high. Now let's figure out the measurements for the false drawer front. It's basically the same concept as the cabinet doors. We'll take our opening width of 26 inches plus an inch and a half overlay on the left and an inch and a half overlay on the right, which comes out to a total of 29 inches wide. And for our height, we'll take the height of the opening at 4 and 7 eighths of an inch plus the top overlay of one and a half inches, plus the bottom overlay of seven eighth inch, which equals seven and one quarter of an inch. So now we've determined the width and the height of a false drawer front to be 26 by seven and a quarter of an inch. All right, so the next steps in this process is boring the holes in the doors and mounting the hinges. And how these concealed hinges work is one half of the hinge gets attached to the inside of the face frame and the other half of the hinge gets attached to the cabinet door. And in order to install the hinge onto the door, you have to bore a hole so that the cup sits inside of the hole. Now, don't let this scare you because it's a pretty easy process. You will, though, at least need a Forstner bit to bore the hole. Now, I recommend getting this jig made by Craig here. I've used it on quite a few jobs and it just makes everything a lot easier. And it's nice because it comes with this standard 35 millimeter Forstner bit that's inserted through this guide that prevents you from drilling in too deep and blowing a hole out the other side. Now before we start drilling our holes, we need to set this jig up first. And our setup is going to be based off the instructions that should have come with the hinges. Now for these hinges, they're telling me there's a three millimeter distance from the edge of the panel to the edge of the bore. And the bore should be about a half inch deep with a 35 millimeter Forstner bit. So let's set our edge adjustment screws to three millimeter and set the Forstner bit depth to a half inch. Now to add to this, I want the center of my bore holes to be about three inches from the top and bottom edges of the door. So I'll just place the jig up against the edge, line up at the three inch mark to the other edge, clamp it down, and start boring my holes. We'll also drill the holes for mounting the hinge. All right, now that we have our hinges mounted and secured, it's time to install the doors and false drawer. We're going to install the doors first so that we can adjust them the way that we want them. And then we'll install the false drawer to line up with the two doors. Now, since we're going to have a half inch reveal, I've marked a half inch from the bottom here and clamped a piece of wood up to the line so that I can rest the doors on it when mounting them. Start by resting one of the doors on the clamped piece of wood and drill the hole for the hinges. It really helps to have a self-centering drill bit here. All right, now that the doors are installed, it's time to align them by adjusting the hinges. Okay, so the hinges are now adjusted and it's time to install the false drawer front. The first thing that I usually do is place some two-sided tape on the panel so that we have some holding power as we're screwing on the panel. Next, place a spacer on top of the doors to use as a guide for the bottom of the panel. Set the panel on a piece of wood, line up the sides flush with the doors, and press down firmly. After that, screw in the panel from the back side. Lastly, install the handles for the doors. Now we're going to be using this cabinet hardware jig made by Craig. And how it works is you can space up the screw holes of the handle. You can line them up with these measurements here. And then you can set this guide on the back side to offset the center of the holes. You would place the jig up to the edge of the door when you drill in. And this is going to allow us to drill in right into the center of the door styles here. And then also what we'll want to do is when we're drilling these in, we're gonna set them about, I'd say three inches or so, which we'll use this measuring gauge up here to measure from the tops of the doors. So the door handles will be right about here.
probably wouldn't be a bad idea if you're doing this to put tape on the back side because as you can see we got some tear out and tape actually avoids that. So if you decide that you ever want to replace your cabinets, give refacing them a thought first. Now of course this project is on a much smaller scale, but if you're doing an entire kitchen, think about all the money and time that you could save. And all in all, I'd say this is a pretty easy project for any skill level, and hopefully this video helped you in making a decision on if refacing your cabinets is right for you. If you like this video, please consider giving me a thumbs up. It not only helps my channel, but it gives me some purpose to make more videos like this for you guys. And if you want to see more of my latest content, please hit the subscribe button. Well, thanks again for watching and take care.